Okay guys, I'm trying to get this 89 Kawasaki KR1S started. So I rebuilt the carbs as I mentioned before. I just did a compression check, which I have a video. I'll put a link down below for that. Compression is reading good. At first I thought it was a little sketchy, but now I redid it after kicking it a thousand times and things are looking good. So both cylinders are putting out over 130, which is great. I'm very happy about that. Now I could not get, I mean the carbs are rebuilt. Uh, I could not get it appears to be fuel in there even though I, I checked the bowls I loosened the nut on the bottom of the bowls down here and I saw a little fuel dribble out so I knew I got fuel in there this is just kind of your basic checklist for this is a two-stroke as you guys may know um, so what I did is I just looked up the uh, what do you call it uh, air mixture screw setting on this thing and I had it wrong so I was gonna update that now I could be a little off because this bike has been modified slightly. Um, it does not have an air box. I cannot find one. They're impossible. So I have to put air pods on it. It came with like race air pods because somebody was track tracking it, I believe. And these race air pods were nothing but like a screen door screen <laughs> over the intake. And so I got some, uh, you know, pretty inexpensive little pods that fit, fit right on on Amazon, which I'll show you. Or I'll put a link down below. But what I like to do is... What you do is on this air screw, uh, air fuel mixture screw, your setting, which cannot be accessed while the, it's in the bike, unfortunately, is I tightened it all the way down. What I typically do, though, will be mark it with a marker so that I know exactly where I started. Put a little mark on the lip. I don't know if you can see that. Basically, I'm just going to mark that lip right where the, in line with the screw so that I know where I started. Am I showing you that? Okay. And there you go. And that will give you your base. So I'm going to come out one and an eighth turn. Okay, so I'll get those set up. I just got it to fire pretty good. It had a little run. I didn't have the fuel hooked up. I didn't have my IV bottle hooked up, but it did burn some of the fuel that was in there. Now, what I typically find on starting these old bikes after five years, 15 years, who knows um, how long this one's been down. I know it's been down five years in my hands, never a rebuilt is you want to dial up that thr that idle pretty high because that I don't know what it is about that it uh it, even holding the throttle open doesn't emulate dialing up the throttle or the uh idle it's something different and then I usually they start on choke and this thing won't start on choke um so I'm getting it to start I'm in Florida so it's warm I'm getting it to start with no choke higher idle and that's the combo. Every every bike's different. This two these two strokes can be a little finicky, but uh, we'll get her started. And so I'm going to set my uh, air fuel mixture. Like I said, we did the compression check. Also did the spark plug or spark check. So what I, of course I did was had the spark plug out of the cylinder. I had it up against uh, one of the bolts there up against the housing. The easiest way to do it is to turn the lights out in the garage and then kick it and see what you got. Um, careful not to be holding on to the metal that is connected to that. That's always fun. And so I got nice blue sparks. At first I was getting kind of like intermittent. So I was like, what the hell's going on? So I also eliminated this clutch switch on the Cowies. They have this damn clutch switch, which has haunted me on different bikes in the past on a Cowie. So I short changed that or shorted that by jumpering that. Now, my kickstand, you know, that's another switch that could cause you havoc if you got an old rusty kickstand switch. So check that. Just, you know, I mean, obviously the spark plug test uh, being out and kicking it over and seeing that blue spark is the foolproof. But make sure that all your all other things are equal, meaning that your kickstand's in the same position, your clutch switch is good, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, you'll drive yourself insane like I have in the past. So. Uh, in the dark, you can see that spark real good, and I got a good one. So those are a few of the basic checks. I got a newly charged battery in there, too. So uh, this will be the next move. Set the screw, air mixture, air fuel mixture screw, to the correct one and an eighth. I had it at two, and then I'll rehang the bottle of fuel, and I'll bet we'll have business. I'll talk to you guys let you know how I make out. I hope that helps. I appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thank you.